Okay, so we were requested to do up a little video showing how I make a classic margarita, what I call the 3-2-1 margarita. And the main ingredients are three parts of either tequila or mezcal. We're using this particular brand of mezcal today because that's what we got in the house. So three parts tequila mezcal, two parts of your favorite liqueur. The classic liqueur for this purpose is Cointreau, uh, also used as Grand Marnier or Triple Sec. I would recommend either Grand Marnier or Cointreau. We found that we prefer, of those options, we prefer Cointreau, but we've also been experimenting around with other liqueurs, such as this Contrato Bitter, which I've, I've read is compares to Campari. You know, note, note the red color. I'm not exactly sure what all kinds of stuff, there's lots of stuff that goes into Contrato Bitter. It makes for a really nice added complexity to the overall uh, margarita. But, uh, but today we'll just be using the standard Cointreau. Three parts mezcal, two parts Cointreau, and one part lime juice. So that's what, that's the, what we're gonna be using, three, two, one. And of course the other ingredients, salt for around the rim of the glass. Uh, for added complexity, you have the options of sweetening things with agave nectar or bitterizing things with some bitters. This is Pecho bitters, uh, Angostura bitters are, are another option, but what we got in the house today is Pecho's bitters. So I think uh, probably I'll use a little bit of both of these today. So three, two, one, three parts tequila, mezcal, two parts your liqueur, one part lime juice. Okay, now just, we talked about the ingredients. Let me talk a little bit about the equipment. There's, of course, you're gonna shake it. And one of these shakers, we have this kind of a medium sized uh, shaker. Uh, a, we have a double jigger for measuring stuff. I'm gonna use the smaller, smaller uh, cup to, uh, which is 30, 30 milliliters up at the top. The other side is 45 milliliters or, you know, one and a half times the small one. We're gonna use the small one. Uh, and mentioning the salt, uh, we, we are using uh, Himalayan pink salt, and the glass is also. I'll, I'll, uh, we sometimes put it in these fancy um, martini glasses. Today I'm gonna use this very simple glass because of the way we store our salt is in one of these, uh, this is like in a, one of these takeout soup containers that your miso soup or your okay comes in that note how that salt is right there uh, in a circle it's the perfect size for this kind of glass so when we're salting the edge of this we're just going to dump it right down in there it's it's a thing of beauty and it makes it so easy to get a perfect perfect uh salting of the rim so there's that. So we've got our we've got our two glasses. We've got our jigger. We've got the shaker, and uh, and we're going to use this cup. We use this little dish in a very creative way in a minute. So I'm just going to start digging in. And the first thing we got to do is uh, squeeze us some lime juice. So usually a single lime does it, because what we need is at least. Uh, 30 milliliters of lime juice because our one part lime juice is going to be is going to fill up that top jigger right there the uh, top of the jigger and I think this is a particularly juicy one and note uh, these uh, these limes have nice thin skin and it's usually the thin skinned limes that have a really smooth out outside if you if you're uh, picking them up picking them up in the store and there's some that look really kind of all pocky and and rough this one is smooth and it's got a nice thin skin and it's got a lot of juice so one tiny little lime like this is probably going to be enough in fact I this is in a measuring cup itself and I see that it is right at 40 milliliters which is good so it gives us a little extra lime juice to use to uh, use on the rim of the glasses. Okay, so 30 milliliters of lime juice. I'm gonna take the rest of the lime juice, dump it into this little dish, 
to use in a few minutes. Now we'll go with Quantro. Two parts of the Quantro, so two times thirty. One and two. That's it for the Quantro. Now for the not tequila in this case, but mezcal. Three parts mezcal. Now these the, the portions that are coming out of this are appropriate for two margaritas. Two kind of smallish sized margaritas, but still, you know, it's gonna be enough to give you a little to make happy hour happy. Just enough to make happy hour happy, but not overdone. So okay, so I think I got the basics of the 321 margarita in there. Like I said, I like to uh, sweeten it up a little bit with the agave nectar, just a, a couple of little squirts. And to add complexity, throw in some, some of the bitters, and the cap of this gets stuck on here. Yeah, wow. Anyway, so a couple of dashes of uh, the bitters to add a little complexity there. Also adds a little bit of red color to the concoction. Okay, so that is in place. Now we're ready. Not quite to shake it. Now I'm going to salt the rim of the glasses. So here, recall I put the uh, lime juice down in that dish, and so I'm, I, I like to do this just because it's so much easier than trying to do the other alternative ways I've done. So I just twirl it around, get the lime juice all around the edge, and then using the salt, just salt up the edge. Same thing with the other. In it goes. Nicely salted. Okay, ready for ice and shake it up. Use some big chunks of ice, a few smaller chunks of ice, and one piece of ice in each of the glasses, ready to receive the margarita. Shaking it up. This gets really cold, so I like to do it with a towel on it. So, put all the right stuff in here. And dump it into the glasses. Uh, just a little bit of the pinkish color from those bitters. So it kind of makes it a, gives it almost a Cosmo-like look. So if we did it without the bitters, it would of course look look a lot more like a classic lime-colored margarita. And here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah, that's the stuff.